What women really do on girls' trips? Ooh. Oh boy, your girl going to Miami, right? She going to Miami for spring break. She going to she going to LA. Yeah, okay. She's going to get dug out. Yeah, this is girls' trips, guys, are an opportunity for women to go live freely without any consequences. Oh, whatever happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Yeah, you ain't gonna never find out. If your girl's going on a girls' trip. Just be aware that they're probably doing things that they would never tell you about. And her friends will be the first ones to help her lie to you, all right? So if your girl's going on a girl's trip, it might be time to end that relationship. You lose. You must unlearn what you have learned. Or address it up front and, and let them know what time it is before you even give them that commitment. I'm pretty sure somebody, I wouldn't be surprised if somebody says that in the comments already. <laughs> What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Ron back with another video. If you're new to the platform, welcome to the tribe. By the end of this video, I hope you subscribe. Let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and jump into the next clip. I'll give you a situation. So, so you got a girl, right? You know, y'all been dating for, let's say, six months to a year. Okay. You know, everything's going good. She goes, Marvin, I want to go on a girl's trip. Just me, my single friends. I just want to do it. I feel like I need this. Cause I'm curious. Like I, I, I want to see what what Greece is like. You know, I, we're gonna spend a couple weeks out there. You know, chilling. I'm. <laughs> I'll keep going. Yeah, a couple weeks. Um, yeah, a couple weeks. Couple weeks in Greece. Couple, yeah. couple weeks in. Okay. Yeah. 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 We, we chilling with with my single friends. What you what you saying to her? Anything. Oh. Um. You you must not want to be in a relationship no more. Cause uh. That's that's hard. That's oh, the insecurity. The, the, the insecurity He's card. Insecure. The insecurity card. That's the type of I'm gonna stay far the away from. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm buzz right. You're not going on no girl with, with no single friends. No that's the ultimate. None of that shit. Dead. First of all, I'm not, I'm not doing none of that. My Why am I not surprised that the that the women reacted that way? And the first thing that came out of their fucking mouth was the I word. I, 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 I swear, man. You can't make this shit up. Oh my god, it's so annoying, bro. It, it 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 really like it really fries my brain that the same women that see men not wanting them to go on girls trips, even though we know what y'all do on these trips, y'all call it insecure, but. If another woman is in my DMs or if I'm liking another girl's picture on IG, y'all y'all say that's y'all wanna y'all don't call that insecure. Y'all call that uncomfortable. You can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. That is bullshit. Y'all heard it. But you going to a place far away with all the temptation in the world around you, and on top of that, you're with all your single friends who you know they gonna do whole shit. You expect me to trust you not follow follow suit and do and, and join the join the club so that way you don't feel like you you know spoiling the fun or spoiling they fun so that way you can fit in because we all know how that goes right on to the next clip girls cheat girls trips for example prime one i can't tell you how many times a girl has cheated on her girls trip with me miami you guys see i'm going to miami a lot these girls go on girls trip in miami and they cheat i don't care what you say i don't care what your girl tells you quick story time i was in miami this girl cheated on her boyfriend with me i came back i saw her instagram Instagram, found it and she was posting pictures with a boyfriend and then she ended up blocking me because she didn't want me to see that but point is i've learned that girls are definitely cheaters and they're opportunists under certain circumstances and especially with the right guy and i just so happen to be that right guy a lot of times so keep that in mind take that information however you want but if your girl's going to miami and i'm there chances are you might want to reschedule the trip Nah, ain't rescheduling shit. I'm like, that girl ain't my girlfriend anymore. It was just my turn. Yeah, man. Uh, Miami is is like a dead giveaway. That's like a big red flag. Anytime, anytime I see women that I'm friends with on Facebook, and they all and they so excited to go down to Miami, and I know they all single. My very first thought is, is like, man, y'all going down there to get piped by something strange. Bro, I remember watching an episode of Fresh and Fit, and I and I wanted to find you find it for you guys, but that that's just that would have took way too much time. 
but there was an episode where there were two girls and i remember it was a, a brunette chick and a blonde chick fresh was actually smashing the blonde chick and i think the blonde chick had a, i think a blonde chick had a boyfriend as well but the brunette had a boyfriend also but she was out there specifically to cheat on, on her boyfriend with some dude in miami so I'm like, I'm like, imagine how many, just imagine how many chicks fresh and fit probably done came across that came down there that had a boyfriend only to turn around and smash them or smash one of the homies or something, bro. This, this is, this is far more common than women want to lead on. And of course, they're not going to be honest with it because anything that puts them in a bad light they they, they don't want to take accountability for it. On to the next clip. I was going on girls' holidays every other month. I'd have to shut that down. I think it's disrespectful. Do you go on a lot of holidays? I can do whatever I want. You're with me, you don't want to. You, we, we go on holidays together, we go places together. When I have to go places with just the boys, you stay home. It could just be like women just go on holiday to have fun. And men will try and sleep with you. My female is taken care of and has a fantastic life. She does not need to go on holidays to fucking make an ass and be a hoe on some random table. Me, but that's on some random table because her friend met some dude on fucking Tinder. No, no stay home. Stay Tinder. home. It'll be a woman, meet a dude around three months or so. She'll be like, hey, girl, you know, I think it'll be dope if we take a trip to wherever. She want to specifically take a trip out there because it's a dude out there that she knows. Mm. So she plans the whole girl's trip around her seeing this one cat. So she'll be like, yeah, girl, I'm going to meet with such and such. You know, he going to pay for this. He going to pay for that, knowing that he going to bring some other guys there. And those guys going to do what guys do. Yeah, that's another that, that's another factor too. It, it 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 just wows me how many different guys can explain this in so many different ways and women are still in denial about it. But man, finally got a female to admit this shit and I'm so I, I'm like she proudly admitted this too. So it ain't like women can't sit over here and try to um protect her on this one. Check this out. I don't like hoes cuz if one thing me and my partners did, we came to hoe Oh. And go. Oh. If you just going and not hoeing, hey, baby, you might need to wait for the church retreat. You might not need to come on this <laughs> no, trip. No, you ain't got to hoe. Everybody do what they want to do. I'm pro choice. No, because when you not you when you not pro hoe, you're anti hoe. I'm sorry. If you're not pro hoe, you're anti, and you are not welcome up in here. We are supporters of sluts, whores, <laughs> dick suckers, and all things above. Okay, we are pro everything up What's in this motherfucker. On? Has anybody ever told you that you're too big to be a hoe? I mean, seriously, uh, it's, you're too fucking big. Look at your shoulders, shorty. You got shoulders like Jerome Bettis, bro. Probably got thighs like Barry Sanders in his prime. What the fuck? You are huge, shorty. You are fucking huge. I guarantee you weigh at least 212 pounds, man. This is ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? Like, you ever thought maybe you should, be, you know, try to be something practical, something, you know, like a nurse or a nanny, you know, something practical, something conducive to your fucking weight. You are too big. Oh, man. Shout out to the homie uh, Kenyatta Black. Uh, this. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, homie, you roasted her. Finish her. But Fatality. I'm so happy she finally admitted this. And there's one important thing that she said that I want y'all guys to hone in on. And it's what I've mentioned earlier, bro. Women are seen. These women will let their friends get to them. You heard what she said. Oh no, you might not want to go on this trip. See what I'm see what I'm talking about? This is this is why women need to understand when y'all fight so hard to go on a girl's trip, nine times out of ten, this is why right here. She just told on y'all. More than likely, if they going on a girl's trip, that means there's at least one or two women out of that group that plan on screwing somebody wherever it is they going. The other women are either going to follow suit or they're going to support their friend and they're going to cover for her and they're going to lie and lie and lie and whatever it is. It, it may be. You want to know you want to know what I find so strange about that though. That that part in particular is how women will sit over here and say that men don't hold each other accountable yet women are quick to support one another from hiding their secrets of cheating on their spouses or significant others. I find that really strange. Hmm. Oh, well, 
Y'all let me know what y'all think about this, man. If you're new to the platform, please subscribe. Oh, geez, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hitting that bell notification. That way y'all know what I'm uploading. Hit the like button because that helps with the algorithm. It helps me reach a broader audience. Also, look out for the Travel Vlog channel, Unplugged Traveler. Link is in the description. Also, check out the Lost Music Volume 2. That is my latest mixtape. And if you want to purchase any other merch, Spreadshot.com. Link is in the description as well. Until the next video, you guys. Deuces.